Well, <laughs> like the new jumper. This is what Dominique I forgot about that. I meant to say that. Sorry. I'm 18 and you're 20 thick. Like this is just not a good situation. Hi, beautiful people. <laughs> Hey there beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing super duper well. If you are new here, my name is Connie Sue. Please subscribe down below. So for today's video, I'm doing a really fun but absolutely terrifying video because I'm filming my first ever Say It or Shot It and I just know that my friends have done me really, really dirty. But I've also got my brother's girlfriend, Emily, at the side, who's gonna ask me the questions to make sure I actually answer them or actually do the shot, because otherwise mm -hmm. I'll just wuss out and I won't do it. So I'm gonna give her my phone. Yay. And you can have a scroll <laughs> for my shot. A new gin that I've never tried. My friend Neve got me this for my birthday, and it's passion fruit and vanilla. I have also just finished a porn star. And I've got my water next to my bed because I'm going <laughs> to need it. I forgot to say, if you are any of my family or under the age of 18, please do not watch this video because there is drinking involved. My friends will have definitely have done me dirty and there's just some things that I don't want my family to know. So if you are a family member under the age of 18, please click off this video. It's not the one for you. I'm really nervous. If you guys want to watch this video and excited to see how absolutely bladded I get please continue <laughs> watching and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed I want me to do more of these types of videos okay I'm ready I'm really nervous but I'm ready right hit me with the first one let's go over the kill I'm gonna go straight in in for it no who is your favorite family member oh that's quite I thought you were gonna go doing really dirty my favorite it's quite bad no no okay <laughs> can I I, is it fine if I actually answer it? I think I know who it is. My mum? Yeah. <laughs> I never thought that. <laughs> I'm, I'm just close to my mum. Like, I love it's my family to bits. Mom, isn't it? it is. I feel like when you're a girl, you just have that bond with your mum, don't you? Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's got to be my mum. I tell her literally everything, almost everything. Um, she's an absolute angel. And yeah, my brothers annoy me and she doesn't. She kind of makes me laugh more than annoys me. <laughs> Love my dad, love my stepdad, love my brothers, but my mum, she's a cool mum. I'm not a regular mum, I'm a cool mum. Okay, next one, and I'll have to do a shout. Woo! You're gonna love this one. What's your body count? <laughs> um, my body count, no, I'm gonna have to do a shout. Really? I'm gonna have to shout because I, I just can't have that on the internet. I get what you mean, people like, know then, don't they? Yeah, it's under 10. Under 10. I would think it's bad how many people you sleep with. Yeah, like, if you've slept with more than 10, more than 100, like, you do you, like, sleep with how many people you want, because I'm not here to judge you. I'm, I mean, I'm not bad about people judge me. If you want to judge me of how many people yeah, I've slept with, or how many people I've not slept with, in my case, yeah. you do you, boo. But it's just, I don't know, from a professional opinion, I'd rather <laughs> not have that shared with the world. <laughs> do I smell it? Oh, that smells like a palm star. Oh, vagina! Vagina! <laughs> What's the worst date you've ever had? Oh my god! Oh my god! I can say it because I know he does not watch these videos. He won't ever watch these videos. This is terrible. And I've not been on many dates in my life. I think I've been on like... An actual date where the guy picks you up, takes you out and drops you off. I think I've been on three. So basically, I was in college and this guy was... I was definitely over the age of 18 because I had to make sure it was like a legal thing. Yeah. Um, And this guy must have been 27? No way. Tw 26, 27, like in that age bracket. Um, and we were in a theatre show together. <laughs> it's so funny because if anyone in those shows are watching, you're 100% going to know who I mean. Um, honestly, I thought he was stunning. <laughs> yeah, it gave me the ick. But it's kind of like, not he didn't do a thing, but this whole day as a general was an ick. And I don't know if this is going to make me sound like a really stush little human, but I'm not, I promise. We had planned this whole day, and he was like, I'll pick you up after college. And I was like, okay. And he was like, I was like, what car do you drive? And he was like, a sports car. And I was like, oh, well, eh? he drives a sports car. Okay, I'm ready for this. Anyway, um, he picked me up in front of all my college friends. <laughs> in this car and do you know what it wasn't a chitty chitty bang bang car 
was an old-fashioned sports car. Yeah. You know, like when you basically yeah. sat on the road, like you that low down. Yeah. Oh, this car pulled up and I was so mad. And it was like no. noisy sports car. And I was like, okay. And then he picked me up, and he was wearing khakis. No. Now, I don't even know if people are going to know what I mean by khakis. I think khakis is a word that I made up in my head for a pair of pants. They weren't chinos and they weren't cargo pants. They're like a combination. And I just call them khakis. And he had these. And I'm not a trainer person. I'm not a trainer connoisseur. But I know a good trainer when I see a good trainer. And these trainers just weren't nice trainers and that from the get-go just gave me the ick and in the conversations we were having like if you know me personally you know i'm not a very mature young human but like if if i was like intelligent and of his age it would have been a really good conversation but i felt like i was on a date with my dad he lived like an hour and a half away from my actual house he took me home drove me home we got to the top of my lane he went in for a kiss i swerved under his arm and hugged him and got out oh, and i've never yeah. spoken to him again oh I've seen it before, like after that, and it was so awkward. That is my worst date story. Well, well done for that one. I'm proud of myself for going on it because the date that I went on before that, I ran my best friend saying, Do I actually have to go on this date? Because I'm absolutely shit my pants and I don't want to go on it. So, proud, proud moment. Really bad ones though, because then you can think, Well, I got through that one. I can get that through anything, yeah. That. If I got through that, I can get through anything. Last person you DM'd. Ooh. Oh, do, do I have to have DM'd him or them? Because he se he sent me something so I did the end. What I I don't think I can say. <laughs> I don't think I can say. I thought that'd be an easy one. I'm gonna have a shot. I'm gonna shop just because a private life is a happy life. But cheers to um sliding in my DMs or me sliding in your DMs. Oh, fudge! Cut off. That's disgusting. Okay, you should be able to answer this. Okay. What's your grossest habit? Ooh, grossest habit. I don't know. I mean, Connor, you've done some pretty grim things. Have I? <laughs> what like? Oh. oh my god, my grossest habit. 100% play with my ingrown toenails. Oh. <laughs> shouldn't have shared that with the internet it works yeah I, I think a lot of people do like if you have ingrown yeah. toenails out like, they're not that bad anymore i'm gonna show you um but so the i mean screenshot if you've got foot fetishes and that but <laughs> and look at that pointy toe but they're not that i actually cut this ingrown toenail out so yeah that's probably my worst habit is playing with um <laughs> grossest habit not a worst grossest habit playing with my ingrown toenails would you ever cheat would i ever cheat no, not 100%. I've been, I've been cheated on. Mm. I, I, I just know what you can do with a person. I'd yeah. never, ever put someone in that no. position. Ever. What's the biggest secret you've kept from your parents growing up? <laughs> I have <laughs> many secrets. But My friend just today call, called me a closed book. So I must have a lot of secrets. But nothing springs to mind. Can they know about it? Now, like, I lied about it and now it's come out. Yeah, it says growing up. Well, does the past couple of months count as growing You're up? You're still growing up. So okay, so, so the biggest secret, and some people might you might not even think this is a big secret, but for me it was a big secret because if you know me, I tell my mum literally everything. <laughs> for the past like month, month and a half, two months, um, I had a little secret with my best friend saying we're going for milkshakes. Oh. So we basically use each other as our alibi when we were going meeting Z person. But my, my mum knows now and it's out in the open, so. Your mum was like... Inspector Gadget. She's she, it yeah. Out. <laughs> you can't keep anything from my mum. Like my mum will find out. You know, like how your best friends will go undercover if they think your man's cheating. That is my mum, and she'll find it out and within a day. Okay, carry on. What is mum just said? You want a cocktail? Birth giver. Oh, she's <laughs> a text her. Absolutely. Sec. I love how blunt your mum is. <laughs> Should we go get them and come back? Right, we're gonna go get cocktails and we'll be back. Cheers. Ooh. Would you rather be in a relationship for life or not be in a relationship for life? Oh God. I'd rather be single, you know, forever, honestly. Mm. 
because mm. I don't want to spend my twenties in a relationship. One thing that I want in life is to be able to have kids, but I guess you can have kids without having a man. But I could just be like, there's a guy that I, I'm seeing. He's not my boyfriend, and he never will be my boyfriend. But mm. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there you are. Would you rather? I'd rather be single for the rest of my life than be in a relationship right now. What do you think the worst thing about being in love is? I've got you there. Wow. <laughs> the yeah. worst thing about being in love. Um. <clears throat> God, that's a deep one. Yeah. Because because everyone's like. Could I say it's the hardest thing? Yeah. The, the hardest thing about being in love, and I found this because I think I've only ever been in love once, and like. Really? It, yeah, I've definitely only been in love once, and I think that it's the fact that you're two completely separate people coming together, trying to live the same life, and it, yeah. it's just it's never going to be that way. So it's going to have to be compromised and like working together yeah. to form a new life that you can do together. Because yeah. especially in my past experience, we're two completely different people who want completely different things, and that's the thing about getting in relationships when you're young because. You're not, you've not lived your life yet, so you both want to do completely different things on your path in life, so it's hard for them to then come together. Mm. And that's the hardest thing about being in love, it is, trying to make two people one when you're so completely different. Yeah. Now, we're going to get juicy. Are you seeing anyone at the moment? <laughs> um, no. No, no. I'm gonna do a shot. Define seeing someone. Yeah. There you go. You that, that's my answer. Yeah, there you go. I, I mean, I feel like I didn't answer. Like that's not an answer. I'll, I'll, I'll do a, a small shot for you all because I technically no, but technically define it. Yeah, exactly. There, there's you've, your answer. You've Uno reverse that one. Uno reverse. Oh oh. Oh. What is your biggest ick? My biggest ick? This is one from me. My biggest ick? Oh, I don't have to try and say this. Oh, uh, right, can I say my two biggest icks? Cool. Um, carpet in a bathroom. I'm sorry. What? But if you have carpet in your bathroom, I don't want to offend anyone out there because if you do have carpet in the bathroom, I'm sure you really enjoy it. But, <laughs> <laughs> but carpet in a bathroom to me just does not work. It doesn't go well together. You get the, out? Who wants to step out and then walk around and like squelch your wet carpet? True. Yeah. I went to this guy's house. He had carpet in his bathroom. <laughs> Absolutely not. Th that's more like a jokey ick. But the biggest ick in a guy is when they talk about money. What do you think? Talk about money, compare money make comments about money or just don't do it don't yeah. talk about have a bit of class about yourself for yeah. goodness sakes uh, that's my biggest 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 dick there you go what's the oldest age you get with oldest age I you know age what what's a number ask me last year and i'd say 29 but now it's i mean i'm, I'm 21 no it's actually really? lower. i think i thought about it in, in perspective my brother my oldest brother is 26 and I don't think I could date anyone older than that so I'll probably be but the thing is you do know that guys are four years younger than their actual I age. do get that but also like a guy who's not turning 30 and I've just turned 21 I'm just I'm literally just yeah, going just into my 20s he's things. lived their 20s like he's he, he's probably ready for like kids yeah maybe even engagement and like I'm no uh, 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 that uh, yeah. that thought she makes me feel sick so I'm gonna say maybe 25, oldest I'd go, 25, 26 at that push. What's the worst gift you've ever received? If you get a bad gift, you can't oh. say it's a bad gift, so I'm just gonna have to shop because anything I get given in life, I'm grateful for because it's all something that I'd never buy Even myself. STDs? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> It, it was the thought that counts. Oh. Can you tell, like, I'm drunk already? Like, am I slurring my words? You little lightweight. I'm sorry, but I've just been shot in pure gin. <sighs> Cheers. I've got an interesting one, but I feel like I know who you're going to pick. Oh. Who's the best brother? <laughs> my, channel's yeah. not, my channel's not met, Will. You've met Jake. Honestly, I couldn't pick. So that's another shot, isn't it? Honestly, if me and my siblings can argue to the cows come home, but I love them all, both to bits, so because I literally can't pick, <laughs> I'm gonna have to shot. 
You know what? It could be one of my stepbrothers. <laughs> um. Oh, you bastard. Let's have some water. I'm ready for my next one. What is your favourite swear word, Connor? <laughs> you know, I don't want to get... See you next Tuesday. <laughs> I am a Christian. But I also oh, have an ex extreme. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna bleep it out. <laughs> Not because I ever say it to someone. It, that word just really makes me laugh. Um, I'm gonna bleep it because I don't oh, explain on my channel. Still, oh. When was the last time you cried, Connor? <gasps> last night. And what was it over? Do I have to say when it was over? I'm just asking you that one. I mean, you've asked it, so do, am I going to have to say it? Or do I, if I don't oh, say it, I'm going to shot. you're going to have to. I'm going to shot. I can't tell you why I cried last night. It's so illegal. Oh, yeah. I'll shot it because I literally can't tell you. Because that's just drama that I wouldn't want to bring to my channel. So, so let's create more drama. I cried last oh, night. Oh. But to be fair, it, was, it wasn't a bad cry. <laughs> I think it lasted all of 10 minutes. That's quite a good one, that. I think we can all appreciate that that's a good mm. little short cry. Got it out in the open and done with. You do. And it wasn't like I just cried out of nowhere. It was a reaction to something. So cheers to making me cry. You know who you are. Because mm. <laughs> you never know, I might just What's come the place you... <laughs> <laughs> like I said, family members, you have been warned. <laughs> um, the sauciest place I have done the deed. You know what, I'm not that adventurous, so maybe just like my ex's kitchen. Can I say that? <laughs> a kitchen. Passionate sex. Uh, Passionate intercourse. Yeah, um, a kitchen. I don't know. Okay. Worst memory slash teacher at TMC. Oh, TMC's a college I went to. Right. I can't answer the worst teacher from a, pe a, from a professional point of view. Mm, true. Because... It's the industry I'm going into. Uh, I wouldn't slander anybody's name in there. But I think it's anything in the industry. There's going to be teachers, directors, professionals that you just don't yeah. you don't click with. I know I'm a drama-free human and I wouldn't want to bring that to my... Anything to do with me. I don't want any of that drama. And I know some of those teachers watch my YouTube videos. So, hi! Um, look at me growing up, not bringing drama to the table. Let's do a shot. Um. Well, this is an easy one. Would you ever get a sugar daddy? Would I ever get a sugar daddy? Yes. No. Oh. Part of me wants to say yes, you but like. Go, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? No, because I'm going to make my own bread, so who needs a sugar daddy for it? There you go. What's the nicest thing the guy's ever done for you? Not the picnic. Don't say the picnic. Oh, no. The nicest thing that a guy's ever done for me. Send flowers to my house. <laughs> Shut up. I don't know. I love flowers. It is like... It's a thought. It's the... And not to tell me about it as well. Like, they just turn up and then yeah. I'm, like, guessing they're off. That whole fun game. Like, you've just sent flowers to my house. Like, that's just really sweet. So, probably just, like, sending flowers to my house. Mm. Yeah. That's um, it. What else? Have you ever got an STD? Um, no, I've never had an STD. How many sex toys do you own? It's <laughs> another question. I'm shot him. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Oh, she's still going. I don't know how you're not going to puke, you know. <sighs> Most embarrassing story. I, I, I'm an embarrassing little human yeah. being. An embarrassing story, me in high school or anything from... This year onwards is embarrassing. This is an embarrassing story. Not because, I, like, looking back, I, I wasn't embarrassed then. Like, I actually felt like the baddest bee ever. But I just broke up with my... I, I don't even count him as an ex, but I just broke up with this guy. Uh, and I was getting ready to go to this 18th party with people he went to school with. It had come to light that he'd been saying a lot of awful things about me but also to like my best friend and like saying he was going to do this and that with her and she was like no I'm, like, I'm embarrassed about it now because I should have lifted my head higher and not been asked but like making a scene at someone's 18th birthday party to my ex if you want to call him that um ripping the chain off his neck that I bought him that's 
like Boris and that's cool. And I was like, you don't deserve anything I ever got you. Um, that's not embarrassing. And I'm pretty sure I gave it back to him like a week later. <laughs> that's what's embarrassing. Um, and I'm pretty sure he still wears it now. Ah, uh, yeah, that's quite embarrassing. I don't know if that's more embarrassing for him or for me. But we're friends now, so it's all good. I'm pretty embarrassed by it because I feel like I should have just like rose above it and just not reacted. But here we are. No, that is funny. I'll do what And he still followed me on Instagram, so. <laughs> last guy you went on a date with and the last guy that you spoke to. Uh, shot. <laughs> Let's shot. Everything in front of me is literally blurry and I don't know if that's because I'm out of focus or because it's blurry. I know you want it. God, sick. It doesn't get better. No. If you had to get back with an ex, who would it be? Um, sober me would say I've only ever had one actual ex and I would never get back with him. Um, so it'd have to be the other ex and you know who you are. What? Can I put that on? Are you watching? He's definitely subscribed. <laughs> right then. Okay. <laughs> So with that note, <laughs> on that note, I feel like you've all got to know me a lot better from that. Also, if this is the first video that you're watching of me, please just go watch another one because everything in front of me is literally blurry and <laughs> my words aren't coming out right right now because how many shots am I in? Ten. I'm going to put a little shot count so you guys yeah. can tell me down below. I'm sure ten. Um, but I'm about to have a really cute girly night with my mum's girlfriend because I've literally stolen her off him because we all know I'm the best sibling. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to smash a big thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see another say it or shot it, if this video gets to 100 likes, I'm joking. <laughs> If you want to see another say or shot it, just comment down below or follow me on Instagram because I always put polls up about what videos you want to see. Uh, and if you want to be involved in the next one, make sure you're following so you can comment. And I'll see you in my next video. Okay. Love you. Bye.